Thank you for watching News Barbecue News. In the Florida school shooting case, large volumes of warnings were issued prior to the shooting rampage which left 17 dead. According to the New York Times, one tipster told the FBI that they were sure Cruz was going to explode. The authorities were told that Cruz had an abundance of weapons and his behavior was frightening. This report was made by Roxanne Deshaw, whose 22-year-old son had gotten into a fight with Cruz, ultimately putting a gun to her son's head after a violent tantrum of slamming doors and objects. Cruz himself, who was dealing with the recent death of his mother, and publicly stated that he wanted to be a professional school shooter, contacted authorities but once again was ignored. The FBI and other law enforcement organizations did not pay the reports any heed unfortunately and the result was the tragic situation at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Meanwhile according to the New York Post Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel is under pressure to resign after one of his officers did not try to stop the shooting rampage, waiting outside, while two other deputies ignored reports that the alleged shooter was dangerous. Despite all this, the sheriff touted what he calls amazing leadership in his tenure as sheriff. National Review is among news organizations and others who are calling for the resignation of the sheriff. National Review points out that Cruz was able to calmly walk away from the scene and even ordered himself a drink at a fast food restaurant. Broward County Sheriff deputies are being called cowards by the press, especially Scott Peterson who was caught on surveillance video taking up position but doing nothing to stop the shooting rampage that took 17 lives. The Wall Street Journal also reports that United States companies, apparently oblivious to the facts in the case, are severing ties with the National Rifle Association, whom they obviously blame for the attack. MetLife, Symantec, Delta Airlines and United Airlines are among the growing list of companies who blame the National Rifle Association for the attack. In Science News, Crazy Engineers reports that water is a common substance found on the moon. Although it goes against conventional wisdom, it appears that water is all over the moon, instead of being in isolated shadow-covered pockets and the poles as had been thought. This has implications for future bases on the Moon as it can be a source of rocket fuel, creating a staging area for flights to Mars and other planets in the solar system, as well as supplying astronauts in Moon bases. The exact source of the water is not known, but it may not be an H2O form, but an OH form, possibly trapped in minerals. Later investigations will doubtless reveal the source of the water as humans return to the world next door. Popular science reports that Februarys will continue to get warmer, they say due to global warming and carbon dioxide emissions, referencing the unusually warm February of 2018. They ignore the fact that it was an unusual jet stream pattern that has brought warmer temperatures to the east coast, and the weather could turn back any time it wanted to to a colder pattern. ScienceNews.org reports that cave art, believed done by Neanderthals eons ago, shows that the Neanderthals were the mental equivalents of modern humans. There also have been ornaments made of seashells found, though tracing them to the Neanderthals is another thing. Cave paintings using a natural dye known as red ochre have been carbon dated to at least 66,000 years ago. By the scientists' own admission, Tracing all this to the Neanderthals is very difficult and even radioactive uranium dating is not sufficiently reliable. The flu vaccine has been reported only 36% effective, with large numbers of deaths occurring especially among children and older adults whose immune systems may not be as strong as others. This is the worst flu season in a decade, and has raised alarm bells across the spectrum of the healthcare system. The 36% mentioned does not include cases where the victim stayed home and never went to the doctor. In related news, a type of pneumonia known to some as the Klebsi plague has been spreading, and is not generally talked about by the mainstream press. This pneumonia is bacterial in nature and may well be opportunistic, attacking people whose immune systems have been compromised by the flu or other respiratory diseases. Perhaps some of the flu cases could be blamed on a dangerous virus that has been going around. This virus is called the adenovirus, and it frequently exhibits flu-like symptoms, according to NBC News. In a strange twist, there is a vaccine available to the military but not to the public. 
The adenovirus is not easily diagnosed and may sometimes be mistaken for the flu. The current flu vaccine provides no protection from the adenovirus, a virulent killer. Finally in the news is the growing pressure on the South Koreans who eat dog meat, and are roundly criticized for it by much of the rest of the world, who think of the furry canines as pets, not their next meal. This is one thing that came out as a result of the Winter Olympics, though of course their culinary habits are well known to the West. It seems major divides are commonplace all over the planet. The United States gave a disappointing showing in the Olympics this year, but the ratings were even more disappointing. They were dismal, and the network NBC took a major hit in their ratings as well. Well, better luck next time. Thanks for watching News Barbecue News.